know, health and food is a very important topic to all of us. Uh, I could share with you that I started paying attention to this important topic maybe six, seven, eight years ago for a series of reasons. You know, sometimes something happened and it forces us in one direction. So I was not forced, I wasn't sick or anything, but there were some events that led me to be interested in the topic. So today, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to call it a fragmented health tip. But I hope you will find it helpful. The first one, sugar. If you search sugar, and people who search sugar and study sugar, I had many statements that somebody made that sugar is toxic, regardless of where the sugar comes from. So I think that's extreme, and I always like to stay in the middle. The reason also, uh, from what I have heard some documentaries, that if human became addicted to sugar, there were one, one reason, because you will not find on planet Earth any toxin, toxin that's sweet. All toxins are something else. They are not sweet. So these, the, the research shows that maybe this is one of the reasons why we human started to like sugar more and more. When you eat it, you're, uh, you're, you, you know that it is not going to be toxic. But nevertheless, sugar is toxic. What do we do? We eat sugar. I eat sugar. We like sugar. I'm not going to stop eating sugar even if you tell me it's super toxic. But knowledge is power. As long as we know how much we are supposed to intake sugar daily, and I'll share with you one thing. Our recommended, the recommended daily allowance, the RDA, every day you are supposed to take no more than 40 grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. Four zero. That's the recommended. And that four zero of, of grams of sugar is supposed to come from anywhere. Don't say, oh, I'm going to eat banana. That doesn't count because it's natural. Oh, and then I'm, I'm going to reduce the number of spoons of sugar. No, 40 is 40 from every source. Well, what does 40 mean? One can of soda, that's not diet, regular food. One can of soda has 40 grams of sugar. So you take your pick. <laughs> You drink one can of soda, it has 40, and some of them has more, and that's it. You have your allowance for the day, and the rest you will have, you will have to eat bitter stuff. So, knowledge is power. Do I eat more than 40 grams of sugar? Yes, but at lo at, as long as I am armed with this knowledge. So what I do, I try to avoid any processed sugar. I eat more sugar from natural, from, from fruits. So that's my first tip to you, it's sugar. Number two is water. This research shows that 20% of the people in the U.S. are dehydrated. Cynthia is drinking her water right now, and I see Barbara also have a glass of water. So 20% are dehydrated, and the research also shows that you are dehydrated without you know that you are dehydrated. We don't know that we are dehydrated. It just Somebody tests your blood, you find it to be th thicker, but you are dehydrated. So what do you do? Drink more water. I developed a habit that I start my day with water. I used to refuse to put anything in my mouth before I brush, even drinking water. And I thought, no, because if you brush and you go drink water, all those chemicals is going mm -hmm. to go in. So what I developed, the and actually in developing the habit, I also read that that's what Japanese does, the Japanese do. They drink water in the morning, four, five, a large number of glasses. But what I do, you know, I try to stay in the middle. I'm not going to drink five glasses in the, in the morning. I just go downstairs, and I go directly to water. I just drink water, go around the house three, four, five rounds, and come back, drink a little more water. So drink water in the morning. If you think about it, it made perfect sense to me. And I gave one time a speech here. It's about cleaning your pipes. But that we will not go there because that's a speech by itself. But just think about it. It makes perfect sense. You have pipes, 
and you're just washing them in the water with the most neutral substance, which is water. It is not juice, it's not that, it's not, it's water. Pure, has no taste, so water. Number three is exercise. I also stumbled on exercising. When I was growing up, our exercise was playing sport, which is nothing wrong with that. But how often do you play sport? Once a week. And then I stopped playing sport because it was too much time and effort, so I stopped. And some, suddenly, uh, a gym opened in where I work, and I said, yeah, that means, that's the first gym I, I joined. So I, yeah, that's an interesting idea. But before that, before I started exercising, I would like to do it more, but before I started exercising, I was tired, often sleepy. If I walk two blocks, I get tired. So I said, what's going on? Just two, three, I never liked walking. <laughs> so I went to a podiatrist, just to told me, take your shoes, walk back and forth two times, there's nothing wrong with you. She prescribed some What's that called that you put in the shoes? Uh, yeah. Insults, yeah. 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 The, and the, so it didn't work. I said, so then when that gym opened and I started exercising, I really saw the difference. Walking to me has become like, <laughs> like fantastic things to do. I want to do more. Walking five, six blocks was not a problem at all. While before, if I want to go to Michigan Avenue, oh, that's a long trip. I, so exercise. If you eat, which we all eat, of course we are human, we are, we, are the, we are human, let me just focus on that. If you eat, there were one, a wise man said, keep in mind that you have a bag right there, sitting here. <laughs> so that bag, it needs to be filled. Keep in mind that, divide that filling to one third, one third, and one third. Fill it with, one. the first one third is food, solid. The second one third is water. You're going to drink water, you're going to drink uh, this and that. And the third one third is breathing. Because when you, when the stomach gets uh, filled, it pushes against the, uh, the lung. So your breathing is, is difficult. So keep that in mind. The, the next number is stop eating before you are full. We're often guilty of that. Why is that? Because it takes about 20 minutes for the blood and the body to absorb that food and you, get, you, you feel that you are, you are full. So if you stop before you are full and just wait 20 minutes, you will be full for sure. But what do we do? We don't follow, this, especially if the food is delicious. <laughs> if the food is well, you just keep eating and then you stop when you are right now, you feel that's enough, I am full and then just wait another 20 minutes, you will say for sure, I overate, and you start eating the gum, and then you start going <laughs> back. So stop eating before you are full. The next one is drink your food. Think about that. I really do it on a daily basis. Today I was busy, I couldn't go and get my cup of coffee. Cup of coffee, I think if you look at it, with, especially if you use cream, I like cream, I don't to use it, but I couldn't uh, get avoid, uh, couldn't uh, substitute with regular milk. So if you add the cream plus the, whatever you add to it, sugar plus you add to it, the, that's about two, three hundred calories. So I found that I am really, when I drink coffee, I'm not hungry. So I say drink your food. Why is that? Because you are, you are putting less solid into those pipes and that's healthy. Our problem is too much solid into the pipe. Keep, keep, they keep coming. Keep them coming. So if you take your favorite healthy food, not food, drink, <laughs> and drink it. But if that drink has calories, it has benefits, it's food. So in my case, my, my daily liquid food is coffee, one cup of coffee, or one mug or whatever. Well, you could just you know, say, well, I'm going to go to something else. And the last two tips I want to share with you is this. This, you need to eat three quarters of your daily intake, 
think of this as a basketball, how much we eat more or less every day. You know, if you take a basketball, close enough. Basketball, take a quarter of the basketball in three dimensions. That versus this three quarter. This three quarter should be from plant, plant food, but it has to be natural. Not processed plant food, not a can of, of corn. You might potato say. chips. The potato chips is it cannot be. It has to, it has to be from plant and natural, not processed because of the processing technique for the interest of time, we won't go there. But it's plant and natural. And this one is, I call it, anything you want. <laughs> anything you want. Anything. Meat, hot dogs, anything. <laughs> chocolate. chocolate. That thing you were talking about, that thing uh, you had some sweet about. So. Uh, I was actor. Something like that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is anything you want. I have my anything I want also. I'm not going to let it go. But anything you as long as it is only one quarter by volume. And it, it, you will be healthy, no doubt. Because here it's plant and natural. So that's it. The second one is half of your food, well that's 50% of course. Half of your food, <laughs> half of your food, should be and cook. And then, of course, this is by default, cooked food. Mm. And why is that? Well, half of it is and cooked, meaning vegetables, fruit, salads. And then the other half is, of course, it is cooked. Because cooking, for a couple of reasons, because cooking reduces the nutritional value of food. You lose a lot by cooking it. It transforms also. It transforms the food. I gave one time a presentation here about alkaline food versus acidic food. Alkaline is good, acidic is bad. Spinach, raw spinach is yummy. alkaline, yummy, and, and is alkaline, that's good. Water is alkaline. But when you take the spinach and you cook it, it becomes acidic. So that's where the recommendation. And cook, cook. If you follow those health tips, I think we will be much more healthier.